can add a lay detail in the terrorist attack. On the Istanbul courthouse, took place six days later, it was claimed that the target of the terrorist attack. On the Istanbul Palace of Justice, organized by the HKP, see terrorist organization members Emriela and Pinar Burkuk, was the Istanbul 13th High Criminal Court panel, which sentenced Ken Adelaide to 18 years in prison. It was stated that the terrorists aimed to intimidate members of the judiciary through the Ken Adelaide decision by taking the court panel hostage and broadcasting live. Istanbul 13th High Criminal Court decided that Ken Adelaide, who was elected as a member of parliament after being convicted in the Gezi case, should be sentenced to 18 years in prison for aiding the attempt to overthrow the government of the Republic of Turkey and be arrested for this crime. Istanbul Regional Court of Justice found the local court's decision to be lawful. Can Adelaide, who was elected as Hattie deputy from TIP, applied to the Supreme Court. And while the process was ongoing, the third criminal chamber of the Supreme Court of Appeals approved the 18-year prison sentence given to Ken Adelaide in the Gezi Park case after the Supreme Court approved the decision of the Istanbul 13th High Criminal Court, Adelaide applied to the Constitutional Court. The Constitutional Court aim ruled on a violation of rights for Ken Adelaide who was elected as a member of parliament after being convicted in the Gezi case. And the recent decision was sent to the Istanbul 13th High Criminal Court. Istanbul 13th High Criminal Court sent the file to the Supreme Court for decision thereupon. The third criminal chamber of the Supreme Court ruled that the decision of the Constitutional Court should not be complied with on the grounds that it violated the Constitution and exceeded its authority and filed a criminal complaint against the nine members who signed the decision. In Adelaide's second individual application, the Supreme Court did not change its decision and ruled that Adelaide's membership in Parliament should be reduced. The Chamber decided to send the decision to the presidency of the Turkish Grand National Assembly. Following these developments, Gezi Park case convict Ken Adelaide's parliamentary seat was revoked following the decision read in the General Assembly of the Turkish Grand National Assembly recently. Terrorist attack after call to come out. After Adelaide was dismissed from Parliament, TIP Chairman Erkenba made a call to take to the streets, posting on his social media account. Ba said, Removing Ken Adelaide's parliamentary seat means I do not know the constitution and laws of this country. I will do whatever comes to my mind. We will not leave this unanswered. We are taking to the streets all over the country to protect our country against the coup plotters. We invite all our citizens, he shared. Exactly six days after this post, a terrorist attack was carried out on the Istanbul Palace of Justice following the attack. An investigation was launched by the Istanbul Chief Public Prosecutor's Office as part of the investigation. 48 of 96 suspects were arrested. New details about the terrorist attack began to emerge. In this context, in the referral letter of the prosecutor's office, it was stated that the aim of the terrorists was to enter the courthouse with weapons in line with the instructions of the organization managers and take public officials hostage with the help of the suspects who were waiting for the action under the pretext of the hearing. As a result of the search of the bags of Pinner Burkok and Emre Yela, members of the neutralized terrorist organization, a large number of plastic handcuffs, a piece of note containing the names, surnames and phone numbers of some journalists and MPs, a manifesto that was found to belong to the DHKPC terrorist organization, found. It was determined that the contents of the manifesto included demands for the release of members of the terrorist organization who were tried and convicted of membership in the DHKPC terrorist organization. The court committee the court committee was the target of the attack. It was claimed that the target of the attack was the Istanbul 13th High Criminal Court panel, which decided that Ken Adelaide, 
who was elected as a member of parliament, after being convicted in the Gezi case, should be sentenced to 18 years in prison for aiding the attempt to overthrow the government of the Republic of Turkey, and that he should be arrested for this crime, intimidation of judicial members. It was stated that the terrorist organization DHKPC may have organized this attack to intimidate over the Ken Adelaide decision, and that if the attack was successful, the aim was to intimidate members of the judiciary by broadcasting live on social media accounts by taking hostage the court panel. That sentenced Ken Adelaide to 18 years in prison.